What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. We're playing some Zoo Tycoon 2. We're going to continue working on a Pleistocene Park. Uh, I'm a little frustrated. I just spent like 20 minutes building the next exhibit and I didn't save and the game crashed on me. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the worst feeling in the world. Okay, so I'm just going to give you the same spiel that I did at the beginning of that. Uh, essentially, I have built just about everything that I wanted to build for me, you know? Like, there is going to be a big sort of Ice Age Glacier exhibit over there with, like, Wooly Mammoths and shit, but otherwise, I'm I'm done, you know? Like, well, not that I'm done, but, like, everything that I want to do is here. So, everything else that we're doing is 100% based on the comments that you guys are leaving, you know? So, today's video is going to be actually the first animal that was suggested, which was a Megatherium. Uh, so, we're going to be doing a nice little exhibit for that. Uh, that said... The next, like, I don't know how many exhibits we're going to have in here. Maybe, like, four more if we can fit them. If we're lucky. Like, one here. Maybe, like, one more here. One here, obviously. One over here. They're all going to be based completely on what you guys want to see, you know? There is one animal in particular that I will not dare name right now, but that I see has a huge fan base, has a huge following, and is commented in almost every video. And we will 100% be doing that animal probably in the episode after this one. But the Megatherium was requested first, so that is what we shall do today. Alright, let me just find it. Now, I already know exactly how I want this exhibit to look. We're going to essentially be doing kind of a partial cave exhibit, okay? So, like, it's going to be right here. And what we're going to do is, like, there's going to be a nice little scrub area at the front and a cave for it in the back. So it's kind of like one of those... One of those things where we kind of make it a shelter, even though it's not a shelter. If you guys know what I'm talking about. So, let's just get right down to it. Let me find the wall I was using. I was using the ice wall, which is right here. Ice fence, I guess. Alright, so I'm just going to do this real quick to sort of set up. Set up the size, essentially, of what we want to do. I want to say it was about this big. That looks about right. And then we had a nice little glass fence right at the front. Oh, man, no, it was definitely a little smaller than that, because I don't think we hit the water. But yeah, guys, as I was saying earlier... The rest of the zoo is in your hands, you know? Whatever you guys want to see, just request it. And I need you guys to, like, you know, actually, like, comment. I need you to like the various comments. And, like, whichever comments have the most likes, I will probably be doing those, you know? Or whichever animal gets commented the most, I'll be doing those. Alright, let's see. Let's make this a little smaller. It's gonna be driving me a little crazy that I have to redo the entire thing, but... Uh, but that's what I get for being dumb. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, I think we actually flattened that out in the initial video. Let's see. And then the cave was sort of, like, right there. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how I did in the last one. is I'm going to put an elevated path around this way, you know, to sort of make that cave happen. And we're going to go from there. Sure. Actually, well, first what I did was I put a bunch of rocks in the background and the backdrop just to cover up that zoo wall. So we'll do that first. Uh, we looked through a bunch of rocks. These are usual rocks right here. We're what we ultimately opted to keep, as we tend to usually do. Alright. Um, but which rocks was I using? Um... I think it was these. Or like, yeah, because they're nice and tall. They kind of fill up the wall. Nice and tall, fill up the wall. Rhyming today. Kind of like right there. We're going to flatten that bit right there a little bit. Just because that's going to be annoying. All right. Flatten that. Done deal. Sweet. Okay, um, now let's put that elevated path in there just so we can sort of gauge how big... Oh, I didn't put the glass wall in here. My bad. Let's do that real quick. That's one, two. That's one, two. Okay, cool. Elevated path. 
I'm sorry that I'm doing this in kind of a rush. It's just I literally just did it, and it looked pretty cool. I was really content with it. Uh, but here's where we are instead. Okay, let me see. It was probably one more up. Yeah, that looks about right. Honestly, though, like, in that video, what we, what we did was, like, this entire half of it was basically, like, a cave, you know? Whereas here, it's gonna be more of, like, an isolated part, which I think might actually ultimately look better. That's just me. I mean, I've seen the damn thing, so I think I would know. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is the rock we use to sort of mm, build the sides. I think that looks fine. How big is that compared to you? That's perfectly fine as well. Okay, yeah. This is the height we're going to keep. Yep, there's that. Okay. And then, yep, that's Alpine. So we'll have to play around with editing that a little bit. And we actually covered the top with that as well. Yeah, this might actually look a little bit better than what we had there. Well, what I had, I guess. You guys don't know the pain I went through. <laughs> the pain I went through for all of you. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll cover that up in a second as well. Alright, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Scrub it up. Mm -hmm. Fill the inside with the dirt. Kind of the outside too, I guess. Uh, shelter. Let's just throw that shelter in here as well. That's what I like, is that the rock shelter can fit. Like, I don't think these can. Yeah, those didn't in that one either. But here, it's kind of like, yeah, rock shelter inside the cave. It's perfect. Let's get those rocks going over here as well, just to get good coverage. All right, sweet. Yeah, this video is probably going to be a little shorter because I actually knew what I wanted to do. <laughs> Whereas in that one, it was sort of like, you know, bumbling around for a few minutes, and uh, maybe this, maybe that. I like the way this looks better, honestly. Alright, let's see. From guest point of view, it's got a nice domain there, and then it's got a nice cave to go into there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, the one thing I really wanted to do, that I'm going to try again in this video, but I don't think it's going to work, is to get some darkness in there. I don't know what happened. But it just, like, no matter where I would click in the zoo, darkness would not work. Wait, I'm in buildings. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are you? That's aquarium. Wait, maybe that is it. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, it, see, it doesn't matter where I put it. It just, it wouldn't work. So, first of all, I'm going to save because I am officially paranoid. Second of all, I'm going to do what I should have done earlier, and I'm going to make a backup save. Cool. Thirdly, we're ready to actually, you know, make an exhibit. Or this exhibit. This part of the exhibit. There we go. Um, I'd like to just cover this part up with rocks, too. Honestly. Just, just to follow through with the rocky theme of the exhibit, which I guess we do kind of rocky themes a lot. But in this case, like, it's just this back wall. You know, that was just a cave right there, so... Oh, that's too much of the same rock. That's way too much of the same rock. Let's put you right there. Okay. 
Okay, I just realized that rock look, looks a little bit phallic and we're not going to be using that. Yeah, all right. Caves that are, or like the caves, the rocks that are like all sun dried out here, whereas the moistness of the cave is kind of keeping that one a lot darker, sort of. Yeah, let's go with that. That's the lore. That's our lore. Oh, here we go. We can even put a tarp it like right there. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, we used these giant cactuses a lot in the last one, except there was a lot less area to cover with plants, so... Well, let's see. I don't want to put too many of them around here. Sisal. You look not bad. few of these lone cactuses around here. Alright, and then we have all of this over here as well. Yeah, as you guys can probably tell by the uh, little pop-up comments up there, I need to take some time and like put some restaurants into the zoo and what have you. Because as it stands, our guests sort of uh, have nothing. Yeah, nice big patch of cactuses like right here. That looks pretty good. Uh, I need something a little taller, though. Maybe just, like, mm, eh, no. A lot of trees. Clover tree. Okay. Yeah, yeah, those look pretty cool. Alright, over here, um... Shepherd's tree. Yeah, you're nice, but not for this exhibit. Apple of Sodom, no... Nothing. I guess we're just gonna keep these quiver trees. Like, yeah, might as well just make them the tree of the exhibit. And just sort of on the outskirts. Like this, it's important to me to keep very open for the most part. Okay. Let's give you some figs right around here. Let's see. Uh, what did we have for food? We had a mound of termites. Which I'm going to put over here, kind of in the rockier area. Browse holder with branches can be... I guess, ideally, it'd be over there, but it doesn't really fit over there. So, let's just put it over here, kind of by the trees. And rock trough with water can be right over here. Okay, uh, let's see. There's a little bit protruding right there. There we go. And from the back, boom. Just tying up all the loose ends here. Boom, boom. That drops lower, so we don't want to drop too low. There we go. Alright, yeah. That looks kind of cool. That actually looks a little better than the last one. So let's save this up real quick. And get our Megatheriums in there. Gotta put a zookeeper in there as well. Uh, we're just gonna put two, because they're pretty big. And you are living in here forever now. Alright, let's take a look. Nice, buddy. Jump in, shall we? Whoa, what is happening there? Ah, I'm not controlling that. Oh, okay, I see. One of my keyboard keys just got jammed for a second. Well, that's one way to get inside the cave. How are you doing? Gonna have some figs. Okay, there's like a little opening like right there that I feel like I need to fix. 
but otherwise, I like this exhibit. I think it came out looking pretty cool. Actually, hold on. Just make this easier on us. We're just gonna grab the rock out of here. Boom, and boom. And maybe boom. And... Yeah. Alright guys, there you have it. I actually am pleasantly surprised with how this looks. I was worried I wouldn't be able to replicate what I had. I guess I didn't, but I made it better. So, that's that. Like I said earlier, leave comments with what animals you want to see next. I know which one the next one's going to be because people keep asking about it. So I'm going to probably go make that now, actually, and just upload that in a few days. Until then, this was Megatherium, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe for more, and I will see you all later.